hello good morning welcome to my youtube channel my name is chiege i am here to bring to your notice a lot of things you may not know about in life so let's just go straight to the point have you ever thought of attracting positive energy to your life have you ever thought of meeting good people around you instead of the bad? Have you ever thought of trying to achieve something but it's been difficult for you to achieve and we're looking for a way out? Now I'm going to teach you two, two out of so many things in life that you can use to attract positive energy, good luck and many good things in your life. So let's just go straight to the point. Number one, rice. I know you'll be wondering, what is she talking about? I'm talking about rice. Rice, the one you eat, the one you cook in your house. Rice, the one you always eat each time you go for a party. You know, because it's always rice that people cook as number one dish in their menu. Now, let's talk about rice. You know rice as just food, but you don't know any other thing that rice does spiritually. Rice, number one, is a very beautiful food, a very beautiful meal, mostly preferred outside during parties and all that. Now, talking about spiritual side of rice, rice is one of the things you can have with you and it attracts positive energy to you. Not only that, it attracts good people around you, good people that will favor you in whatever it is you're looking for in life. Now, how do you make use of rice? All you need to do is just bring a little amount of rice, just very few grains of rice, put it in your wallet, put it in your purse, you know, or put it in your handbag and go out. Assuming you are going to work or you are going somewhere else, just put a few grains of rice in your bag and go to wherever you are going. Now, you just don't do this just like that. You need to pray about this. Definitely, we all pray to God, I believe, because I'm a Christian. I don't know about you, but I know you. we all pray to our God or whatever God you are praying to. So when we are doing that, first of all, thank your God for everything God has been doing in your life as for the forgiveness of sins. Now, use the rice. Pray on top of the rice. Command this, that because rice represents abundance, rice represents abundance that god should please multiply your abundance in life multiply whatever is it money is it job god should multiply it through that rice now after praying on the rice just take a few grains of rice put it in your bag and that is all you go to where you are going you just move on. If it's work you are going, you move on. You believe that your prayer has been answered. You must have faith. In life, whatever it is we are doing without faith, it's nothing. So for anything to work for you, you must have faith. Even if you are the type who, who doesn't believe in practical prophetic prayer, you just believe in just praying without putting it into practice, you must have faith. Without faith, nothing works. All right. And again, everything is not diabolical. I'm not saying that a lot of people out there are not into the diabolical side of life. Yes, they are. But I want you to know that majority do not want to trade that path because nobody wants consequences in life at the end of the day. Nobody wants this. Everybody wants to sleep with their two eyes closed. So this is just the best way for you to go about it. Do this thing with right. See your life multiply. You will definitely testify at the end of the day. That is what you need to do with rice. Now, I jotted this thing down, okay? I talked about the rice one. It brings you luck. It gives you prosperity. It brings you positive people around you. Now, the second thing, the second thing that you need to do to attract favor, attract positivity, attract good people in your life is money. Not just money. Any money that is given to you by your parents or by an elderly person, it doesn't matter who that person is, but an elderly person gave you money. Assuming an elderly person gave you money, that particular morning, an elderly person gave you all the one your parents, you know, gives you or gave you at that particular point in time. Keep that money in your bag. Do not spend it immediately do not spend it immediately that money is special 
that money is special when you keep that money in your wallet in your handbag in your pocket wherever you keep your money go out with it in your bag together with the rest of the, of the money you have but do not spend that particular one you know what that one does that one is a blessed money that one attracts more money to you that particular one attracts blessings attracts good people in your life because when your parents are giving you that money of course they blessed you with that money they gave you with they gave you that money with all their good hearts with their blessings on top now another an elderly person that chose to give you to give you money equally gave you that money with blessings on top of it now that money is kind of a wisdom money is very special Do not spend it immediately leave it in your bag allow the positive energy around it to keep attracting more money and more good things to your life at the end of the whole thing you will still spend that money but do not i always advise don't spend it immediately don't be quick to spend it even in a month even in two months leave it there let it keep on attracting positivity into your life at the end of the day if you can do this that i'm talking about don't force an elderly person to give you money you don't force them to give you money if you force them that money is not going to do anything for you allow them to give you from their hearts from allow them to do their will to bless you with that money then watch how your life is going to transform that is all i have for you today rise as an abundance and a money given to you by an elderly person do not forget this practice this practice this try it you shall definitely testify and if you have testimony you can come down to my youtube channel and share it with us okay we learn every day we help each other every day so that is all i have for you guys today and i say thank you so much for giving me a listening ear and you are welcome to my youtube channel and if you, in case you don't know if you're a new subscriber, I welcome you. If you are not a new subscriber, I'm still asking you to come and subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's come up together and uplift each other. Thank you so much, guys. And have a nice day. God bless you. Bye.